Food is medicine. This is one of the guiding principles for the Institute for Functional Medicine. Well, if food is medicine, we need patients with a healthy mouth and healthy teeth. Hello, I'm Dr. Mary Ellen Chalmers with the Institute for Functional Medicine. I'm a clinician with 32 years of practice experience in general dentistry, and I'm really thrilled and excited to be part of the Clinical Nutrition Initiative. This functional dental exam is meant to complement Dr. Stone's very thorough eight-part mouth exam. What I hope to do is broaden the lens for the medical practitioner so that they have a different view and a different perspective on how to think about and integrate the mouth into their patient's overall health. What I look for in a functional dental exam is I look for the presence of active inflammation and I also want to be alert for potential inflammatory triggers. As I examine, I will categorize my findings into three distinct areas, infection, autoimmune, and oxidative stress. These three key themes are a result of the collaborative practice with Dr. Patera Perry and resulted from the patterns that we saw in our patients as we examined and treated them. Functional medicine-based dentistry has really changed my practice and revolutionized the way in which I think about, diagnose, and treat patients. And I'm excited to share this new thought paradigm with you. Let's talk about the equipment that you need for a functional dental exam. You're going to need a mask and gloves. Gloves need to be latex free. You're going to need a light source. There are different, many different options for a light source. The three that we've illustrated here are an auto-ophthalmoscope. A simple pen light will look f work fine. Uh, this is my personal favorite. It's a headlamp because what it does is it allows you to illuminate the oral cavity and have both hands available for examination. You'll need a magnifying glass to be able to better visualize any findings that you might find. And this particular one can also double as an additional light source and provide additional illumination. You'll want pH paper to be able to assess and evaluate the uh, acid-base relationship um, of the saliva. You'll want some gauze to be able to hold on to the tongue and move it from side to side. Aluminum foil strips are very helpful for determining the presence of galvanic activity between dissimilar metals or just mercury amalgam alone. Q-tips and a tongue depressor. The Q-tips are helpful to run along the edge of the gum tissue to see if the, are the gums bleeding, are there any sores, is there any uh, exudate. Uh, any fluids that are being expressed from the gums, or and also if you look at lesions on the cheek, you can use your Q-tip to see do the lesions rub off or are they really firmly attached. The tongue depressor is going to be for moving the tongue from side to side, moving the cheeks out of the way, putting the tongue down so you can better visualize the throat and oral pharynx. The stethoscope is helpful for pal when you palpate and listen to uh, temporomandibular joint sounds. And finally, we have a camera in the operatory to photograph and diagno di document uh, any lesions or anything that we might find. That's the equipment you need for your functional dental exam. Let's talk about positioning for the functional dental exam. We're going to want the patient seated at or below eye level. We're going to want to have easy access so that we can palpate the temporomandibular joint area, the muscles of the head and neck, and we're also going to want to be able to have great visibility to be able to thoroughly examine, access, and identify the structures of the mouth and the oral cavity. That's our positioning for the functional dental exam.